on, I believe it's, um, it's moving closer and closer. Moving on now, that Nigeria runs an expensive presidential system of government has dominated debates for years. The call for the reduction of the cost of governance gathered a fresh string. When former governor of Kano State and senator representing Kano Central, senatorial district that Ibrahim Shekarao advised President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to cut down the number of federal lawmakers. Shekarao noted that the country does not need the two chambers of the National Assembly made up of 109 senators and 360 members of the House of Representatives, totaling 469 lawmakers. Julie, Senator Shakarao knows that this is a major constitutional issue. He knows that for uh, President Bola Ahmed Tinobu to implement this, the 1999 constitution as amended must be adjusted. Mm. And um, That's it's not, you know, there are, there are some portions of the constitution that you can alter. Mm. But for some, you have to go around the country. Yeah, yeah. This one before a major decision like this can be taken, you will have to take it around the country and get the buy-in of two -thirds. two thirds of the houses of assembly yeah. in our country. And you can bet that once you begin to do that, you will see that some of uh, the houses of assembly will start yeah, pulling out. Because it depends it on what the governor feels. It happened with the uh, local government autonomy thing. <laughs> Many of them refused to agree to it, you know. They wanted uh, legislative autonomy, but local government autonomy, many of them said no. You know, so we've seen it done in uh, Senegal, yeah. where the president fired the Senate. But in Nigeria, it's much more complex Senegal. and difficult to run than Senegal. Even if you have altruistic um, desires. Yes. You can't bend on uh, Nigerians. You can't bet on Nigerians arguing and disagreeing with you, no matter how good the intention is. Yes. So to say that uh, you, I, I thought he would even say, okay, one of the uh, chambers, because you know that um, uh, CKN's former governor also made that suggestion that we don't need two legislative chambers. That's okay. uh, uh, a he, 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 he posited that yes. look, one of those houses can serve us. In fact, I'm convinced too that the House of Reps can serve everybody because there are many. You see a state, a state having as many as 24 House 24. of Reps members. In Kano, 40 something. You know? So, mm. uh, the, uh, I think Lagos is 24. Right? Yes, Lagos is 24. Yes, and uh, mm. Kano is about that uh, size too. I know, maybe 22 or so. Uh, I can't remember. It's around 22. I know that NMPP has 18 mm. in the House of Reps now. You know, after the tsunami, mm. they got 18 mm. members. Mm. So maybe they just gave the... They visited everywhere. They gave the remnant to, um, to the APC and others. You know, it's like a king eating at his uh, dining table. So he allows the crumbs to drop for other people, so that they won't say... Yeah, they uh, <laughs> yes, you let the crumbs drop for others to, to pick. Yeah. So they have 18 members of House of Reps. The rest of them the share the rest. Uh, so now I can support having one, one chamber. And if we are to have one chamber, then for me, we could do what they did, what the president of Senegal did, by firing the Senate. Those guys, if a state can have 18, I mean 24 House of Reps members, and another state can have close to that, it means that, it means that there should be enough to represent us. Mm -hmm. No one can say 24 House of Reps members are not enough to represent us States. in Lagos. So for me, that is, because, look, I, I understand where it's coming from. Mm. The cost of governance, Yes, we've got to find a way to bring it down. I know it will be difficult. Any government that tries to do it, they will fight that government. Ah. Vitaly. 
Because you are trying to take feeding bottle Same from the mouth of some people. Yes. So Same you will be resisted. You yes. should expect that you will be resisted. But the presidential system is very expensive. I don't think that with the dwindling resources that <laughs> we have now, that we can sustain this thing for much longer. If we don't want to do it, then let us do rapid cost cutting across all sectors. If we can do that, fine. But I, I, I believe that a unicameral legislature is good enough for our country. A unicameral legislature, secure. We so when you look at the disability, good. But you, as a lawyer, what it takes? Um, you have really said it. Um, it will need serious uh, legislative amendments, constitutional amendments, and um, apart from the both chambers of the National Assembly concurring to that, it has to be taken around the whole 36 state houses of assembly and to third of members of those state houses of assembly has to concur too. Uh, after that, we'll be now unified and then pass into law. But you can be saying that it will be much easier for an elephant to pass through the eye of a needle for, for such to happen in Nigeria. It's not possible. Then, taking for that, we, um, what we're running is a presidential um, a system, a bicameral legislative system, copied from the United States of America. That is where we got our this thing from, the presidential, uh, presidential system from, from the United States. And if you know in the United States, you have um, the Senate, you also have the, what they call their own uh, House of Representatives, as it were. Vice Before that, speaker. yes. I the vice president is the Senate president. And the vice, vice, their own is the vice president, is the Senate president of their own. Then if you, before then, in the First Republic, we ran uh, a, parliamentary. a parliamentary system fashioned alongside that of the United Kingdom, where you have upper and lower houses. And that is why we also have House of Representatives. But if I totally, if I were to go, I would say that, yes, at this point in time, we need to really scale down the number of people representing us. A, a 469, to me, is too large. Why did they would rather go for the House of Representatives? I would rather go for the Senate. Let us have 109 senators, equal number of senators per state, 3-3, as it were, for equity and fair play. Don't forget already that we have, in each of the states, Houses of Assembly. Each state has their own House of Assembly, which are legislating on, on affairs concerning those states. So the senators, or whatever name we call them, whatever nomenclature we, we call them, we only be representing the, all the sessions of the country. That is 36 states and FCT that have one. FCT, that's why we have 109 senators. FCT is represented by one. I rather think that we should just collapse and go for the Senate. But beyond that, we have to cut costs in governance. Mm -hmm. And the way to go about it is going back to what um, uh, the Steve Oransaya report. If you remember vividly what that report said, yes. the margin of various ministries, uh, departments, yes. agencies, it is very key. You will see so many agencies. In fact, there's a report going on that. As of yesterday, I was going through under the current SG, the, the SGF. Yes. The SGF, I'm sure you must have seen that this thing. Yes, that's right. Where the AGF has over close to almost 20 agencies. Yes, under him. Under him. They are still creating uh, more. And they are still creating more. That, yes. that one, they found about 20 already, just under the SGF. There are still about three levels again. That is also. Then you now ask, when you see agencies that they are just duplicating, and some of them don't even have anything to, to bring back to the table. Mm. We continue spending. You look at, there was a. Was it the Senate? Current expenditures. It's also very, very high because we spend practically everything our budget on recurrent. We have been little salary, or nothing. Allowance. Yes. Allowance. Having little having or nothing for capital, and that is the problem. So those are the issues. I think that is the way to go. The current president, the first government, should go and look at that Onusoya report that the last government with which they talk with lip service and could not implement. You could see that almost close to about 100 or 150 MDA. Oron Saye was made to suffer. Mm. They turned against him, put him on trial. Yes. Because of that. Because of that report. They, they, they lied against him. And mm. by the time they got to court, they couldn't prove the things that they oh, no. said. Yes, they so, said um, the only house that that man has, has in Abuja 
he, he built that house with funds provided by Union Homes. When they got to court, he had the check stops. Mm -hmm. He had the check stops. So he presented it. His lawyer filed a no case commission. The no case commission succeeded. And that's it. Okay, so I have our Hassan on the line. Thank you for joining us, Awa. Thank you so much, Ayo. Thank you for having me. I'm right. sorry, I'm, I'm, I want to contribute on the National Assembly leadership. All right. Sorry you've passed it, but I'm going to be quick in doing that. Uh, uh, Ayo, you see, it is you and I that are outside the National Assembly that brings on religion in, in the leadership. If, I've been to, if you've been to Harris Secretariat at the Hilton, a lot, a lot of senators that are standing on for Yari are Christians. Likewise, if you go to Apabio's side, you see a lot of Muslim senators that are standing by Apabio. So it is us in the outside. The president's uh, uh, role is just advisory. He advised it should be a Christian from the south so as to have balance of uh, the Muslim-Muslim ticket. Mm. But he cannot force them. He can't force them to, 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 to choose leader, leaders for them. He can only advise. And that is what Ashwajo has done. And... It is us outside that actually put religion into it. I think we should, the stakeholders involved in the party and in the government should continue talking with them. We still have a week or so. Uh, let's have, let them have negotiations. Uh, let everybody come to the table. There is a way they speak, and there are stakeholders outside and inside the National Assembly that formed the leadership, that are, that are strong in making the leaders in the National Assembly. They should be talked in and... And, and, and try to strike a balance. But saying it's Christian or a Muslim, from the outside, it's us that will be speaking on that. Our representatives in the Senate do not speak on religion. They speak on what matters and what fits them and what satisfies their interest. Not us, outside. So I okay. think we should, we should even okay. stop looking at uh, religion, uh, Ayo. Thank you, Allah. Mm. We, we actually put them there. That's, we are seeing from the optics, our <laughs> it's not good for our country. No, but whatever it is, it's what yeah, it's not, not for members. We they are representative, and we are telling them now. Oh, that's it. When, <laughs> it. when we talk about these things, federal character principle is enshrined in the constitution. Yes, it is. The mm. people put it there. They put it there for a reason. It's mm. just for us to achieve balance and be able to see ourselves as one people, mm, mm. you know, and ensure that there is no domination of one religion or domination of ethnicity. Yeah. So that is the... It's not as if uh, anybody that they put uh, put there, yeah, I am game. Is it Nigerian? But, but right. not everybody thinks like the rest of Honestly. us. Uh -huh. Honestly. So, the backlash. Yes. The, mm. the party will not be able to handle it. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Now, moving further.